everybody, it's Cynthia Porter with Visit Winona. Ed Hoffman is running the camera, and we are Facebook Live from the runner-up of this week's poll. I know you're wondering why, but I'll tell you. Only three votes were in between the winner, um, which is the Winona Municipal Band at the Band Shell on Wednesday nights, and Mississippi Sippin' at the Minnesota Marine Art Museum on Tuesday nights. So uh, the forecast tomorrow is suggesting it might rain. Um, whether it does or it doesn't, um, we thought that, you know, obviously you guys wanted to see this place too, so we decided that we would do both. Um, we'll do the concert tomorrow night if it's not raining, but just in case it is raining, we got something today. So um, we are starting, if, if you're wondering where I am, I'm standing in the prairie gardens that are all along the side of the museum. Um, and funny story, so Ed, who is a he is a photographer and a wanderer just said to me, holy cow, it's beautiful back here. I didn't know that this looked like this. So here is another one of Winona's best secrets. Um, right now the cone flowers are just a little bit past their peak, um, but everything else is just going crazy gangbusters. There are, I bet there's a hundred monarch butterflies flying around us right now. I'll have Ed give you a look around in a second. We've got yellow cone flowers and there's butterfly bushes and stuff and grasses I don't know the names of. There's a lot of milkweed um, and purple iatris and uh, it's just beautiful. So this seemed like a really good spot to start our Facebook Live episode from. We're going to walk through uh, in a minute and we're going to walk up on the, uh, on the patio that goes along the Mississippi River and show you what Mississippi Sipping is about because um, that's also probably one of our better secrets on Tuesday nights. If you're in town, that's the place to go grab a glass of wine. You only have until 6.30 though. It goes from 4.30 to 6.30 um, and every Tuesday until the end of September, we're told. So Ed, just take a second and give these guys a look around while I walk up here. beautiful so can you see the butterflies they're everywhere they're they're just they're everywhere I mean this is like a magic garden right um, so Mississippi Sippin here's what it is the Minnesota Marine Art Museum has this here I'll go this way has this fantastic kind of a mezzanine that goes along the front of uh, a backwater on the Mississippi River. Um, about a million years ago, when this place was first just conceived of, they were going to put the big um, Thompson dredge. This is going way back. This is in the 2000s, the early 2000s. Uh, they were trying to purchase the Thompson dredge. It was this big, beautiful dredge boat that worked on the Mississippi River up in this upper Mississippi River area for, I don't know, 50 years or something, 60 years, a long time. Um, so they thought that'd be a cool, um, you know, monument to the river. And then some things happened. They decided that the dredge wasn't going to come here. Um, down below this patio, though, is like a big concrete pad, which they built to put the dredge on. And now the dredge is somewhere else. I don't know where. Somebody, somebody else bought it and basically did that same thing with it. But this museum went a different direction completely. It said, uh, we're not going to have the dredge, but we're going to be on the banks of the Mississippi River. And so we are going to feature this incredible art collection um, that is on, whoa, did you see that? <laughs> like the flyby of the butterfly. Um, this incredible art collection that it is um, the property of um, Bob Kierlin and Mary Berkter. And it's on, I, I think the technical term is permanent loan to the museum. <clears throat> they also have, like Leo and Marilyn Smith, um, have a lot of fantastic carvings in this collection. And they have a lot of displays that come through on a rotating basis that are coming from all over the world. And um, <clears throat> if that's not enough to get you down here, um, we're on River Road. We're kind of tucked in between this really sort of strange industrial area on that side is um, Senex Harvest State. 
and on that side is a, a little trail to some boat houses. Uh, and right here is this perfect little spot for taking in a little bit of the river um, and having a couple cocktails. Well, not cocktails, they have beer and wine. We'll stop and we'll look what kind in just a second. <clears throat> um, and they started doing it, uh, <clears throat> I think, I don't know, quite a few years ago. They started doing it, but at that time they weren't so sure how it was going to work out. So they were doing it, I think, like once a month on a Tuesday. Um, and then they were doing it every other Tuesday, and now they're doing it every Tuesday because people love it, right? So we're going to walk down here, and we're going to totally creep on these people. The patio is full. Like, I told Ed I'd buy him a beer. I don't even know if we could sit down on the patio right now. We'd have to just stand, and you know, which is, would not be the first time I stood and drank a beer. But um, I'm not going to walk backwards down this path because this is going to be the time that I fall. Um, so anyway, we're just going to look real quick. At the list, craft beer. We have Tall Lift Bridge, Lupulin, Lupulin, what's Lupulin, that? yeah, Lupulin, yep, Big Wave, Goose Island, Odell's Wine. There's like five kinds of wine, Pop and Water, and Bank and Ranch Burgers and Kettle Chips. Uh, you could, you could come down here and have dinner. Thanks, guys. Yes, no problem. Oh, Jefferson. Yeah. yeah, this is um, put on by Jefferson's Pub and Grill down on the down on a different part of the river, um, situated right in the middle of downtown. Um, so, okay, so a little bit about this spot where we're at. Up the river, about I don't know, 50 feet is Senex Harvest State. Um, they are shipping millions and millions and millions of tons. Oh, sorry, I keep turning this way and that. Just trying to not wipe out. Uh, so they are shipping millions of tons of grain, potash, um, liquid asphalt. What else? I don't know. There's a lot. I looked at a list before and I was surprised because I just thought it was mostly like grain. But um, I guess between March and May, how am I doing? <laughs> between March and May, they um, will ship something like 13 million tons. Oops, there's a chair. 13 million tons will come um, through Minnesota, headed for New Orleans, and uh, about 8 million tons of that is going to be grain. So, what is lined up over here? We're going to walk down to the edge a little bit and we're going to have a look. So what's lined up along here are barges, as far as your eye can see. Um, these barges are pushed around by boats, little tugboats. They're not little, they can be up to 150 feet long, I guess, and um, they can push I don't remember how many barges, maybe 10 barges at a time. So these barges, I think, are empty right now. So, um, oh, but you can hear, you can hear this heavy equipment down there and it's loading up these barges. Um, yeah, we can see a big arm here. We'll go far enough where you can get a look at it. I can show you putting stuff inside of, um, you know, these barges that are waiting and then they hook them together and they start pulling them down the river, they're headed for New Orleans. So Ed, you want to come up and give them just a better look at these barges going all the way, um, but they're just waiting to get linked up and pulled uh, away. So um, every week we go wherever you tell us to go. This week um, we're doing an exception to the rule and we're doing two places. Um, uh, just because it was obvious you guys wanted to have a look at this place. So many of you voted for it that only three votes separated you. And, um, and just in case it rains tomorrow, we wanted to make sure we had something this week that was going up in, for our Facebook Live. Um, We're just at the one year anniversary of this, and I'm telling you what, we have been all over Winona um, and a little bit around the area too. You know, we, it's not just in the city. It's like, this is our, this is our home all the way around us for um, quite a few miles. And so um, we love your suggestions. We love your stories. We love your shout outs. Um, I, I will tell you, I just want to mention that I know some of you had said um, in previous videos that there were blurriness issues and we know about that so just to just to let you know we're trying to address that I've been to the Sprint store I've been to the Apple people both twice 
they're talking to each other. I don't know. Somebody's going to work it out. But anyway, we're, we're trying to make sure that we have a good quality film. And so I, I hear you, and I know that there have been some blurriness issues, and we're just trying to get that worked out. So um, hopefully next week they'll be worked out. And um, we are going to put up another poll on Monday. Let us know uh, which place you want. That's where we're going to go. Um, we're having a great time doing it. Thanks for coming along, and uh, we'll see you all next week.